In this video I'm going to go through C++ pointers which you'll see in many Arduino or ESP8266 programs. In Arduino or ESP8266 programs you'll see two characters the ampersand and the asterisk which are the two characters used for pointer designations. So I'll try and explain why and how they're used in programs. Here's a typical program that uses pointers and in the first instance I've highlighted where variables are being passed by reference with the ampersand. Later on at the function totalize they're being received by dereference or by their value and and then in the next line they're actually being the value being pointed to is actually being modified by the function. So what does it all mean then? When you run the compile function on the um, IDE, on the development environment, uh, and start going through your source code, the compiler's first task is to undertake a lexical, what's called a lexical analysis, converting the sequence of characters, your source code, into a series of tokens, usually. Not all compilers are the same as the one I'm going to explain here, but in broad terms they're pretty much the same. So the first statement at the top there is is a definition of some variables an integer variable called my variable, a floating point variable called temperature and a byte array of five cells and its first job is to apply some logic to those to those variables and they can be very long variable names so typically a compiler puts the variable name into a table assigns a token to that variable name so from that point forward it won't use the word my variable it'll use the token number one uh, temperature two and my array three makes the compiling process much simpler it assigns, so for my variable it assigns a token, a, an address of that variable and the value of that variable. It hasn't been assigned just yet, the value, um, but because it's an integer variable and I'm using Arduino as an example, it assigns two bytes. For the temperature variable it assigns, it puts the temperature name in the name table gives it the next token number along, uh, increments the address and allocates four bytes and then for the byte array it allocates five bytes incrementing the pointers as it goes. So that's the lexical analysis stage of the compiler. The next stage of the compilation is a, is a parser analysis which is reading along the lines and converting what's been asked for in terms of assignments and converting those into actual numbers. So now we're into the setup region of the program. My variable is now being assigned the value 501, 501. So the the parser's task is to convert five the, the, the letters 501 into a number 501 uh, binary or hexadecimal, whichever number notation you wish to use, and put that number into the address space. And over there you can see that the the value is now hexadecimal 01 E5, which is 501. Same thing for temperature. This time it's a floating point number, so 22.2 gets converted into that four byte floating point number there and then the array has been initialized to 0, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and those values are also translated and put into the variable table. Now if you look at the top of the variable address column I've started to add in now the by reference pointer symbol. That's what it's using. It's using 
those variable addresses to pass values around the program. And for the asterisk over the value table, that's what it's using. It's looking up the values for that variable name and using that column there. By this stage, I've, what I've tried to explain is that the source code is translated into variable tables when the variable table contains a variable address and a variable value. And now we can start introducing the pointer concept. So what I've done on the left hand side now is define a new variable type. It's a, a type integer. It's a value pointed to and then it's called my pointer. And, and on the bottom right hand column in brown are the two bytes that have been assigned because it's an integer to that new variable called my pointer. In the next line it says my pointer is the address of the variable called my variable. And then in the next line the value pointed to my pointer equals 44. What that means is 44 is written to the address pointed to my pointer. Now my pointer, if you follow the yellow line around, my pointer has been given the value 00, zero in hexadecimal. Why? Because the address 00, zero can t is the value of my variable. That's where the value of my variable is held. So then it now saying in the follow the amber lines round it says the value pointed to my pointer equals 44 or hexadecimal 2c and my and that updates the value and that's the first use of pointer variable so it's not it's an indirect writing to a variable so here's a here's an example program that um, initializes a variable called total score puts it in that variable table assigns a value 7 so it's an integer so in those two bytes now contain 0, 7, most significant byte 0, least significant byte 7. Then it calls a function called totalize and sending it three parameters a numeric value 1, a numeric value 2 and the address of the variable called total score. It's not sending its value, it's sending the address to the function down below there of total score. Then it will print the value of the new total score when it's been added up. There's a delay and it will repeat over again. Moving down to the function called totalize, it will receive value 1 which is an integer, receive value 2 as an integer and it will receive the integer value pointed to the address that's been provided. So it was, it was parsed the address of total score. Now you can call it something else, you don't have to call it total score, so I've called it the pointer to the variable address and I've called that data to total. Now all the time now when, when it, the asterisk data to total is actually pointing at that variable table, the address held where, where it, which is holding the address of total score. Now on the next line, I'm going to read that out in English if you like, the value pointed to by the variable data to total equals the value pointed to data to total, which yeah, because it was passed over with the value in that address of 7, is 7, plus value 1, plus value 2, so the total is 10, and indeed when you run the program that's what gets printed out the value 10. So it's parsing over the address of a variable then using the actual variable value 
to totalize and then write back to the address of that variable the final result. Another way of looking at the parsing of, of parsing of variables is to cons consider the analogy of a house. Um, if total score equals seven, that's the house and its contents. Um, passing the address of total score is just passing the address, one new road or whatever, but it's not passing the whole house. Passing the whole house takes time and takes memory resources. So it could be 500 bytes for the whole house or just two bytes, the address of passing over the address of the variable. Um, when you get down to the function totalize, you're actually operating on the whole house values indirectly. So looking, operating, where's it, where's that address, that variable held? It's held at, for example, uh, variable address space zero and operating on those values in there as if they were passed over. This video was not meant to be a, a full in-depth analysis and method of using pointers, but I hope it's given you an insight into what the pointer operators do and how they're used. There are just two, the ampersand, which is passing a value by reference, and the asterisk passing a value by dereference, its actual value. So pointers are some of the most complicated programming features that you'll encounter. Uh, the, the use of pointers is by no means straightforward. However, once that knowledge is acquired and uh, you've tried it out, you will find it easier as you start to use them more. I'm sure you've seen programs where they're used extensively and uh, having an insight as to how and why can help you read the program more efficiently and effectively. So the ampersand means the address of the value or the variable, not the value itself, just the address. The asterisk means the value pointed by, to by. So it actually does mean the value. Um, Yes, using pointers is more complex than normal, but they do make programs much faster and more efficient. Instead of passing over a lot of data, you can just pass over the address of the data that inherently speeds up the program considerably. And but there is one limitation is you cannot use pointers for an array. You cannot pass an array into a function. That's a function of the language itself. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful.